All right, everyone. This is very, very important. We are songwriting. We're like, hey, what are we going to do about songwriting? How do I get into songwriting? What's happening here? Is there rules? What's going on? What I'm going to tell you right now, these are the literal words uh, from Pat Patterson himself. Uh, he, like, I reference Pat because he was my inspiration towards my content. Um, he's the reason I went to Berkeley. I found out about him through listening about listening to John Mayer, who is my like really like my main like musical hero. And he was the one who went to Berkeley. His only reference in his thing was Pat Patterson. And I was like, all right, I need to go to Berkeley and I need to learn from Pat. Now, once I learned from Pat, I was like, oh my God, this guy's a genius. And I watched the way that every single student, whether they were a beginner songwriter or they were about to get signed as a, as a, as a published songwriter, um, I would watch his approach to each communication and each way he would just take our songs and he would just flip them. And like, he'd be like, play it this way. Um, and then we would change our songs and then it would sound very, very good. And he's like, no, play it the bad way. And then we would play it back. And then he'd be like, these are the tools that you are honing. Like you are learning the tools. So wise words of Pat Patterson, there are no rules to songwriting. There are only tools, and that is what we're all about here. We're all we're going to be figuring out the tools through the case studies of lots of different songs. Now, if there was ever a rule, it's the one rule that he says, the rule of prosody, which is that all elements should work together, and that's all prosody is. It's you define an obje objective of your song, and then every element that you use within your song, whether it is the chords, the progression, the melody, the lyrics, the number of lines, what metaphors you're using, blah, blah, blah. Production, every element that exists that you could have in the sonic space of your song is being served towards one purpose. There's no like, my baby's left me and I'm all sad and then you're playing like some like G major to a C major nine thing. Like you're not doing like some fancy like, oh, I'm so happy, blah, blah, blah. It's like, it's like literally crafting towards like the true feel. Like one of the songs that just really like just off the top of my head that like absolutely blows my mind. Um, if anyone's a fan here of Post Malone, he has a song called I Fall Apart. And in the verses, his vocal melody, if you guys go back and listen to it, da 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 na na da 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 na 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 it's like a very like staccato like melody that's kind of feels like it's together and then when he finally gets to the chorus and he's about to say oh i fall apart the melody falls apart that's prosody and like when you when you look at people who are great artists or great um got great songwriters that there's a reason like success has clues and we want to be looking for those clues as writers as musicians now that's what prosody is. It's being able to take things, set them up, and then serve the purpose absolutely immaculately. If the the better you get at that, the better your songwriting is. And and the masters of it, they either do it through trial and error, or they do it through what we're going to do, which is you're just going to find these tools and learn about them and and you don't have to go and write like 300 super, super bad songs. You can immediately start on like writing good songs. And then, you know, you're going to cut like that 200 or 300 song fat off and immediately start getting to that really juicy stuff, which is that really creative element that talking about that inspiration part, we want to be like, we want to be as ready as possible for inspiration because you don't know when inspiration is going to come. You don't know when like something emotionally is going to just absolutely floor you. And if you don't have the tools ready for those moments, then you're not going to serve the song as best as you can. So... Prosody, all things working together. Now, the other thing that is really, really important is understanding how you're going to create prosody. So obviously, it's all things working together. Well, Luan, how does that work? So basically, if you've watched any of, my other, any of my other videos on improvisation or anything like that, is just tension, resolution. Pat Patterson likes to say, stable, unstable. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> hopefully I did it. Hopefully I did pat justice with that one. But basically you are going to create tension and then you're going to resolve it. 
Now you will create tension using some form of tool, like say it was, we're going back to the Post Malone reference. He is creating tension in the verse. We're like, da, 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 da. I'm not super aware of the melody, but the vocal rhythm, the vocal rhythm of the melody is what's important. But ba, da, 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 da. like he's doing that in that part. So that's that tension. And then he's building it and building it and building it. And then when he gets to the chorus, oh, I fall apart. He gets to that. Ba, da, 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 da. Like he's just literally falling apart. The melody is going. Da, 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 da. So he's literally getting you together and then you're falling apart. That's called prosody. So tension, build, resolution. Now this applies to literally everything. So if you wanna get good at singing, get good at guitar playing, get good at arrangement, get good at improvisation, production, it, it is a universal concept. You wanna get good at videography, you wanna get good at photography, you wanna get good, like absolutely anything. I just started videography last year, casually. I only was shooting videos for my weddings that I performed. Um, and what I would do is I would just like shoot all the different stuff in the wedding and I make like a little reel, give it to the brides, they get more value. Um, so I would get feedback from videographers being like, oh my God, like that's really, really good shooting. Like it's a really good video. And I'm like, I didn't study videography. I didn't even know anything about videography. Half the time my settings were all wrong. My friends were helping me. My videographer friends were helping me at the weddings because they're shooting the big wedding video and I'm just shooting like a fun reel. And they're like, oh, dude, you haven't even got the setting right. And I was like, oh, thank you. So we quickly fixed it. And so now I'm pretty good with the settings. But just the concept of, of prosody that I took from songwriting, I just applied it to videography. So I just created tension in the video at the beginning. And then I resolved it. And then tension and then resolved it. No matter how much you want to create the feedback loop, when I improvise, create tension, resolve it. Uh, when you're singing, create tension, resolve the melody. Like you're obviously those melodies already have it written, but the way you approach the vocal, the way you sing the vocal, like, are you going to be belting the whole song the whole way? No, you want to be jumping in with a little bit of like, you know, that's what people, that's how you create feel. So the tension and the resolution, like motion in the, in the, in the song that you are creating, motion in the lyric, motion in the chords, motion in the melody, those things will then generate emotion. And that is a, another pat thing. Motion creates emotion. So like if you're going to do tension and then you resolve it, you will now create an emotional response. It is, it's fucking magic. I'm sorry to swear, but it is magic. When people come up to you and like, oh my God, I, I was moved by that, or I love that, or I did, these things were so inspiring that is what's happening the the people you are listening to they're not just like oh i'm like obviously at a certain point like you're just not even you do it so instinctively like that it's like amazing but that's all that these greats are doing they have just learned how to be so disciplined in tension and resolution and then they just give it to you and you feel it and you're like oh my and that's what we want. We want people to be like, oh my God, it's so good. Um, anyway, that is the whole concept of prosody. So all things work together. Now, I have a question here that usually that will come up. It's the first question I ask. Well, do I need to know and manipulate everything this way? And really, no. You do not need to be going like, okay, Luan says prosody is the only rule. And it is the only rule, but it is not, hey, Every single thing needs to be done. You do not need to be like, all right, cool, because I've got like a sad thing here. I'm going to make the melody drop down and make this really, really like awkward tone. And then I'm going to have this dark harmony. And then maybe if I get this tension, like you do not need to go that far. Um, you just need to understand that it exists. So there's like a balance. So you could go, you could go full prosody and it might be a detriment to the song because if it, which which in itself is now fighting prosody. <laughs> so like understanding how much of the elements need to be working, like you don't need to be super complex on, on, on chord harmonies. You know, a minor chord is, is enough. Or like you don't need to be like, all right, I really want a minor 11. You don't, you don't need to go there, a minor 11 sharp, whatever. You don't need to do any of that stuff. 
only if it serves the genre and the purpose of what's going on. Because if you added that to be like, this is a bit more sad or a bit more magically sad, and then you mess with the vocal, like melody, and you mess with the lyric, because now that is attracting someone's ear. They're like, oh, what's that chord? Like that just took away their attention from that. That's now no longer serving the goal of what we want. We want to convey a message in the song. So understanding that balance is going to be the true mastery of a songwriter. So we, when we listen to these songs, you're going to be like, oh, well, like they made this mistake here, blah, blah, blah. Like even Taylor Swift, I think most recently she just re- released a song. And uh, I remember seeing some comments of like, if you're singing about someone being sad, no, don't use a C major chord. And it's like, yeah, but it's still a hit song. So like she's doing something right. And then she would have made that creative liberty. If there was any ever any time someone would be like, I know it'd be her because she writes all of her songs and she's really, really good. So sometimes you don't need to be going full on. You need to under, you need to make that choice of like, do I want um, one result or another result? And you need to learn that each tool is going to serve you a different way. And you define what you want out of the prosody element of like, what is the true message of the song that you want all of these elements to serve? And then once you have that, you're off to the races. You can absolutely slay. Um, And the more consistently that you execute on that, you are now going to just be that much better as as a writer. And then going back to that part of inspiration Like when you feel the inspiration, you will now have that information that will just be like, bam, and it just works super hard together. So I'm really looking forward to jumping into this course. Right after this video, I'm going to link a masterclass that Pat Patterson has. So it is, it's dirty. I'm I'm not going to lie. There's a reason why most people don't really know Pat Patterson um, and a lot of these super high level educators is because they're not making content for, you know, some bedroom casual person. Like the, like the content that he's going through is advanced and, and the way he communicates it, it is very simple the way he communicates it, but you will have to like really take a little bit out each time. You, you're not going to get in there and listen to his, his masterclass and be like, Oh, I got it all. You know? I don't think anyone could do that, like, unless you're already exceptional. But then if you're exceptional, then, like, what's the point? Um, You're just already doing it. So understand that um, some of these amazing educators, when it comes to songwriting, you if you're really going to put in the time to listen to these people, really listen and, like, take the time and listen to what he has to say um, and and then work through it. But this is completely optional. You do not have to watch this. it is just a thing that like when I was trying to find the book, I, I found this. I was like, oh my God, this is like his normal like webinar, like workshop. It's free on YouTube. All right, let's chuck it up for you guys. So um, hopefully that that serves you well um, in, in, your, in your writing for anyone who's really interested in that. Because I know we have some people in our community that do really like the nerdy stuff and they, they've been writing quite a few songs already or might have an album done or something like that. So being able to hear his exact words is really handy. And But for everyone else who's just one like, let's, let's get into some song analysis and let's do that, you can skip that video and uh, jump right into the song analysis that we're going to do right away. All right. Can't wait to see you guys in some song analysis. Let's get, get the ball rolling. Let's make it happen right now. All right.